Hey everybody, welcome back. I've managed to get my hands on something I like to show you guys, and that is a Legion 229 single action only. Everybody's probably, if you're following me, you know my thoughts on a lot of the Legion pistols, and this is the only way to get your hands on a single action only 229, so I am glad I get to show this to you. Some of the things that make Legion's a little different is the branding obviously on the slide um, the front serrations and this little undercut underneath the trigger guard which isn't too much different from a normal 229 it doesn't really go up more it just goes back in a little bit and the beaver tail which is kind of a modified beaver tail. I'll show you compared to two others. Here you got my 226X5. You'll see it's got the full size beaver tail, which is a little bit longer and more flared up than on the Legion. And then my M11A1, which has no beaver tail, but you'll see it still has the indentation going up, which is about the same as the Legion, it just doesn't have that cut back in the grip area. So I guess the biggest thing about this, I mean obviously it's the single action only, is going to be the trigger. So unlike the double action, single action, most of you know, nothing will happen if it's not cocked. But when you do, get that up a little bit closer. And that's the trigger on the 229 SAO. I put it on the trigger gauge. It's about four, four and a half pounds. If I put the trigger gauge towards the top of the trigger, if I go towards the bottom of the trigger, it's running about three and a half pounds. So it just depends on where your finger is on the trigger. You can engage the safety on this and still function the gun with the safety engaged. It doesn't lock back. So, cool feature SIG did there. It's got the X-Ray 3 sights. I'm not a big fan. But there you can kind of see what you're looking at. It's got the green dot in the front and the blacked out rears. I got used to skinnier front sight posts, so it's a little bit wide for my liking. But they are nice sights. You'll notice that it has the tab there, so you can rack it. that'll catch your pants if you need a racket in your pocket or anything like that. And besides that, it just breaks down pretty much the same way as a normal P-Series pistol. The internals are pretty close to being the same. The safety is a little bit different. But, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a close look up before anything changes to that. And I'm glad I could show it to you guys because not too many people have seen the 229 SAO. Thanks everybody for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put them below in the comments section. If you haven't already, please subscribe. You can do that by clicking that little circle that pops up there. And remember, if you're looking for a new pet or animal, please adopt. There's thousands of animals looking for a new home, and that home could be with you. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you.